Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your quick five minute entry check in for Friday. So what do you need to know? So the message is timings for union and how are the lunar cycles affecting the connection? Now isn't this powerful because we're moving into a full moon tomorrow. Now the angels are intuitively saying you're going to feel the full effects of this between Friday to Monday and they're giving me fear. So you're able to release fear over the weekend but you're going to feel it in all its power and glory on Sunday. So how are the lunar cycles affecting things? Well, about union, the timings for union, because remember these cards always go together. They always tell a story. So it's saying to you, the lunar cycles right now that you're going into, this powerful hunter's full moon is bringing in union. It's moving you towards timings for union. So it's helping you to understand what's next. So it's moving you towards something new. Now, the full moon is all about release, but I feel that this is also a big message about illumination because right now Archangel Uriel is illuminating all the things that Archangel Nathaniel and Lord Ganesh has been bringing up to the surface for healing. So, you know, the Divine Masculine, for example, is very aware that they have to release things to move into a relationship with you. And you as a divine feminine are very aware that you have to release all the fears and worries and struggles around whether it's going to happen. So you're also being guided to release the need for, to know when. You know, this is what the angels are saying. Release the need to know the timings, because timelines are guidelines. Release the when and the how and all the questions because it will happen at the exact right time. And it's already on track now. Everything is moving forward now. The more we focus on the when, the more stressed out we get and the more worrisome we feel. So the lunar cycles are giving you the opportunity to let go of the when. Now I'm going to bring in the ghost spirits tarot because we're getting closer to Halloween. So let's get some energies around union. So timings for union. What do we need to know? And how are the lunar cycles affecting the connection? What do we need to know? I'm also going to bring in my deck, Divine Timing, just to see if we can receive any further messages. So timings for union, please, angels. Thank you. And how are the lunar cycles affecting the connection or affecting things? So timings for union then. Look at this. We've got angels are with you. So again, the angels are saying to you, we're with you every step of the way. You're not alone. Your journey is in Divine Timing. So the four energy is about angel protection. That's why you see rainbows. That's why you see the signs like the stag, the promise of union, the bees, which are the miracles coming in. So the angels are with you over the next four hours, four days, four months, even four years, four weeks as you move into your union. And we've got the eight of swords. So things have to be released to move into union. So the eight of swords is that release, feeling trapped, and we feel trapped sometimes by the timing. You know, we get into this kind of cycle of when, when, when. And we stress out if we're given a timeline and then it doesn't happen on that particular date. So we get hung up on the timings and we think something's wrong or we start worrying about things. So the angels are saying to you, let go of the timings and then you'll feel free. So the reason why you may feel trapped right now is because you're struggling with the when. Let that go and feel free. It will happen at the right time. And this is showing you that things are being released, being brought up to the surface and illuminated. So you can be together in union at the right time. And look at this. You know, we've got how are the lunar cycles affecting the connection? 12-12 preparation. So you're being prepared for your union. Remember, separation, silence, quiet times. It's all preparation for union. So the 1212 energy is about stability and preparation. So the lunar cycles are bringing in preparation for union, stability. Could also be an extra message there between now and December, but great changes are taking place. We've got the nine of cups. So the lunar cycles are helping your dreams to manifest, helping your dreams to come true in a physical way. This is really powerful, really resonates with all the readings we've been doing lately. So the, the full moon is reminding you and giving you the power that you are manifesting your dreams and that you're harvesting that energy right now. 
you know, what you give, you get. And the Three of Pentacles is reminding you to work as a team with your twin on the 5D, that you are a team, that you are one, and you are working as a team with heaven to bring this into fruition. And the 20 energy of judgment, remember, releasing judgment, especially since 2020 with the pandemic and everything else. So the lunar cycles are helping you to release judgment around the time it's taking, around their journey and why they are doing the things they do and bringing balance in. So balance needs to come in for union. And the, this is powerful. I mean, this is showing you with the Ace of Pentacles, but they're giving me the King of Pentacles too, that the masculines between now and December are becoming more focused on this journey and doing it right. And the Ace of Pentacles is about abundance and prosperity. So the lunar cycles are illuminating the truth that this journey is treasure. It's rubies and diamonds and magic. And the light is at the end of the tunnel. There's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So it's worth waiting for. And the Ace of Pentacles is showing you good things coming in. So I am feeling for some of you, the timings for your union will happen between now and December. For others, it's going to be between December and April. For others, it's going to take a bit longer than that. But your journey, I can guarantee you this, will happen at the right time for both of you. It will exceed all expectations and all limits. And it will be much better than you've ever dreamed of. And the reason I say that with full, you know, wholeheartedness is because I am a twin in union. And, you know, coming up to my four years in union next year, which resonates with the number four, it gets better every day. So trust in the love. The full moon is helping you to release, to illuminate and see the truth to move ahead. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.